everyone. I hope you're having a good day amidst all of this chaos. My name is Megan and today I'm going to be talking about the El Paso City Council meeting that happened yesterday, March 17th. But first, let's update everybody about the coronavirus and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates. As of Tuesday, March 17th, there are three cases of coronavirus here in El Paso, Texas. These cases are called presumptive positives. Now, what does that mean? Presumptive positive is when they have been tested by a laboratory that is not the CDC, but they have been tested. So I know some people have said that it's a diagnosis given to people without testing, but that's not necessarily true. There is testing, it's just not the CDC that has tested them. They have been tested positive by a local laboratory. Some concerns to keep in mind is that it does appear that some people are actually able to carry this virus without becoming ill themselves and are therefore passing it on to people that are more vulnerable, such as elderly or immunocompromised individuals. There has also been a shortage of tests available, so it is believed that the numbers that we are seeing may not actually be accurate. So let's talk about the cases in El Paso. The first man was a man in his 40s and he had a recent history of domestic travel. However, he was not hospitalized, he was able to recover from home. The second is another man who is also in his 40s, however, he was hospitalized. And the third case that was announced is a young woman who is a student at UTEP and had been traveling before this. And it said that she was traveling overseas. As of Tuesday, Juarez did have their first case of coronavirus. Texas has had 64 cases of coronavirus and one death, and the death was a man in his 90s. Tuesday, El Paso City Council voted to close all bars, clubs, and arcades. Restaurants are allowed to stay open, but there are a couple of rules that need to be followed. There is a limit to parties of six people or less and tables do have to be six feet apart. The restaurants are only supposed to be filling to 50% capacity at this time. Mayor Margo's state of emergency issued March 13th has been extended for an additional 30 days. In regards to the shutdown that was voted on yesterday at city council, there was one city rep, representative Alexandra Anello from district two did not want to vote yes on this until she was able to read both items. Item one was to extend the emergency declaration by Mayor DeMargo for an additional 30 days. And item two was to close the bars, clubs, and arcades and limit the restaurants. Her concern was that there was no plan of assistance for the employees and the businesses that would be losing wages during this time. They decided to make a proposal for relief and assistance on Friday, so she did go ahead and vote yes on that and we're gonna have to wait till Friday to see what it is that they come up with. There is a big concern for employees that work at these places that are being shut down and the lost wages that they will be suffering. The federal government may be sending out checks to assist with this. However, we'll have to wait till Friday to see what city council comes up with to assist on a local level. It was also passed that utilities uh, such as cable, water, internet, as well as electricity and gas and other services like waste will not be turned off if bills are not paid during this time. And the same goes actually for Anthony, Texas, as was declared by the mayor of Anthony. Landlords are being banned from evicting tenants at this time for failure to pay rent, and price gouging has also been banned on necessities. There's supposed to be no public gatherings or private gatherings of 50 people or more, and I do believe that it's also being recommended that groups should really be no bigger than 10. Businesses are urged to give employees two weeks of paid leave, and they're also encouraged to let employees work from home, cancel any out of town trips that are not necessary at this time, and of course also limiting meetings and gatherings. Another thing that businesses are being encouraged to do is screenings for uh, respiratory and temperature as well. Assisted livings are ordered to have no more than 20 people per room. They also want to have drop off and pickups outside of the building. Visitation is going to be limited and they are also supposed to be doing screenings on the people there on a daily basis. All schools, both public and private, are closed as of now and should not be resuming classes until at least April 6th and this could go on for possibly longer. UTEP has canceled all classes and activities and the campus is basically closed 
for everybody except the students who do not have accommodations otherwise, so the students that are in the dorms and need access to the cafeteria. Walmart stores are no longer open 24-7 in El Paso and will be closed for certain hours of the day. Uh, they're going to be open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Albertsons has also cut their store hours, so they're opening at 7 a.m. and closing at 11 p.m. Uh, Vista Markets will be open from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. for shoppers that are 65 years or older and it's going to cut one hour from its stores opening at 7 a.m. and closing at 9 p.m. Sela Vista Mall has also reduced its hours. It's going to be open 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays and Saturday and then on Sunday it's going to be open from noon to 6. Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, and Whataburger have closed their dining rooms and more are expected to follow suit. However, you will be able to use the drive through The movie theaters are also closing at this time. The VA hospital is also temporarily closed to visitors and are only allowing one family member or caregiver to accompany the veteran at appointments and other such things. And children under the age of 18 are not going to be allowed inside. And there are also many other closures around town right now. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know down below in the comments how your life has been affected by the coronavirus and we'll have more updates soon.